Who's been the best person you've ever worked with in Hollywood? And what was it about that individual, aside from their body of work? Maybe it was just the way they worked with people. Maybe it was how they handled themselves in pressure situations. Wow. Uh, God, call someone out. Oh, yeah, you don't have to even say their name. Okay, I yeah, think the be best, best person I've ever worked with is a, an actor that I got a chance to work with recently on a project, and his name is Shea Buckner, and he was one of the best actors I've ever worked with. And what it was was he came in there so prepared, with so much backstory, with so many interesting choices, that it's a dream as a director when an actor comes to you with just so many interesting ideas and so much of a fleshed out character that that person on the page where you're like, oh, this is a cool complex character. Your actor can just take it to this whole other level and just add so much to it that every line has backstory, every little nuance has some interesting subtext to it. And it just, it challenged me as a director to step it up and tell an even better story because you're working with these actors who really, they're committed to those characters that they're telling, that they're creating, right? They want their characters to feel real and have a inner life and come, come to life on screen. And that really just, it was an incredible experience to work with such a dedicated actor who just made me a better director. So for that film, did you have a table read with the actress before? No, God, I wish I did. Oh, you didn't? No, oh, I didn't have a table okay. read. Okay, wow. The tough thing about some of these movies is literally the actors are cast two days before you're shooting and you're like, okay, we'll see you in two days. So it's a challenge. You don't do a table read. Like I've had that. I would love to have a table read, love to have rehearsals. Sometimes the nature of the beast is you don't have time to do any of those and you have to really trust your instincts as a filmmaker and trust the actor's instincts and be able to collaborate in a way such that you know the work is of high quality and elevated still even though you didn't get a chance to to do a, a you know rehearsals on that and it's interesting because some directors don't even like rehearsals and they prefer not to do rehearsals for me and I, and I never understood that because for me, like when you rehearse, it's not like you're never going to get that take again, right? I mean, I feel like people are afraid to rehearse because they think somehow they're going to get some magic and then it wasn't on camera and then they'll never be able to get something like that again. But if you're working with talented actors and you trust yourself as a director, there's no reason why you can't get another one just like that or ideally even better than that. And that's the thing is once you've directed enough and you've seen the contributions that an actor makes to a scene with their characters, I see now why some directors like the Finchers of the world shoot 40 takes or 30 takes. Or I would love to keep shooting because every take, it's another layer that's added. It's something different. It's an interesting choice. Those sort of... Uh, natural things start really start coming out. And that's why theater, you know, when you have an actor who, and you have a group of, of, of actors doing something every night for months on end, by the time they're done, they're just, there's so much going on that it's just, it's on another level. So anytime I, you know, hear a director say, oh, I don't like doing rehearsals. I'm like, why? I mean, every time you're doing it again, you're getting a chance to bring something else to it. You try something different. Sometimes it doesn't work, but that doesn't matter. You have another chance to try it again and do something different. So I think rehearsals are a really important part of the process. And anytime you can get afforded to get them, definitely take them and don't turn them down because that's really where you can find those nuances and those little moments is through rehearsing with the actors and talking them through it and finding them together. So when he showed up on set, was it like 6 a.m. call time or whatever? Yeah. And did you just know in that moment, like, oh, wow, this guy is super, he's well, ready no. to go? No, I mean, I think uh, as soon as you meet an actor, uh, well, I had conversations with him like the day before. So I knew like getting, getting on a Skype call, I was like, okay, this person is prepared. They have a really strong take on the character and it's really going to elevate the material. And it kind of gave me that boost of confidence and inspiration that, you know, I'm working with these individuals, these actors that are really committed to creating great work. And 
you know, as a director, you come in and you do all that you can to really kind of just push the material and elevate the material. So when you do work with collaborators who come at that with that same angle, it really keeps you motivated and pushes you to, to keep going and to keep doing better.